with only 500,000 coins to spend, I'm gonna build the best budget team in Madden 24. I know that kind of sounds like a lot, but if you grind out your solo challenges on a brand new account, it's not that hard to get 500k. We've got a lot of positions to fill, so let's waste no time. Starting with the most important position and probably our most expensive buy of the entire video, I'm taking 94 overall Jordan Love for 91,000 coins. He's the only cheap quarterback in this entire game who gets a discounted set feet lead. If you're new to Madden Ultimate Team or you just haven't played in a while, abilities run this entire game. So his stats are great, that's always nice, but probably the most important ability in this game right now is set feet lead. Set feet lead adds increased velocity on bullet passes, which allows you to fit the ball into much tighter windows. It's an expensive ability, we'll take it for four AP. I'll be using set feet lead, hot route master to give hot routes to every single position on the field, and finally gift wrap. Players will simply drop the ball if you don't have this ability. That's eight ability points on Jordan Love out of our nine total on offense, but this is everything we need in a quarterback. If you don't have a lot of coins, you just don't have the luxury of a good offensive line. I'm gonna stack our O-line with 89 to 90 overall players, save coins here. We'll start with Andre Dillard for 6,700. With how strong defensive line players and defensive line abilities are in Madden 24, it almost doesn't matter unless you're gonna put abilities on your offensive line to counter how strong these defensive line players are. It doesn't matter if you have 89 overall or 98 overall, they're gonna get blown up by inside stuff and no outsiders. So you might as well go cheap here. Take Steve Avila. At center, I'm taking Aaron Brewer. At right guard, I'm taking Brandon Scherf. I will spend slightly more on a right tackle. I like to be able to roll out to the right if I'm really in a pinch. We're gonna pick up George Fant. He's a pass protector, which is the archetype I want, especially if I'm scrambling. Normally wouldn't pick up Chad Johnson here, but I just found him for a really good price of 28,000 coins. So we're gonna pick up 92 overall Ocho Cinco as our first wide receiver. He's an incredible wide receiver, but he's very slow. So my other two wide receivers need to be able to beat man coverage. Super Bowl McCole Hardman, 94 speed. Pretty small, but if you can't beat man coverage, you're gonna lose. Another great option is Von Jefferson. He's got the same speed as Hardman, but he's 6'2", so he's at least got some size. Ocho Cinco is kind of our safety net. Jefferson and McColl should be able to beat man coverage. Those are our three wide receivers. An excellent cheap tight end, 89 overall Jonu Smith with 91 speed. If you want a blocking tight end, this is not your guy, but I just want some speed at this position without spending too much. We started this video with 13 million, which means we can go down to 12.5. We're almost over 250,000 coins spent, which would be a little bit more than half. Second tight end I'm picking up is Heath Miller. Heath Miller is kind of the opposite. He's a big body, excellent blocker, but he's still got good speed and good size. I missed out on that one for 4,200. There should still be a really cheap one. 4,600. Gentlemen, exciting news. I'll be hosting my first ever Madden tournament. I'm April 6th to the 16th, and I'm partnering with PlayStation for this, so it's PS5 exclusively. To find the tournaments on the homepage of PS5, hover over the game and then scroll down to find PlayStation tournaments. If you win one of the tourneys, you automatically get $5 with a PSN credit. Signing up for a tournament is completely free. You can sign up for as many as you want, and they run from 12 to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The more signups we get, the more we'll be giving away. I see your comments. I know you all think you're the greatest Madden player on earth. It's free to sign up. Peace out, y'all. My absolute favorite budget halfback is 92 overall Bijan Robinson. This is his AKA card, so it actually says Bijan Mustard. We just eclipsed the 250K mark, but that's okay. It's well worth it. 93 speed, 91 excel. He has a really nice ability. We can't use it because we don't have the ability points. I'm just gonna run stock freight train, and we're gonna let Bijan do his thing. I will be switching the card art, though. I hate Redux. That looks a lot better. Final thing we need on offense is a fullback. We can pick up Kari Blasengame for two thousand coins. He's halfway decent. I can't worry too much about this. We don't have the coins. Also, sorry if I butchered the name. I don't hear about the Bears fullback very often. Pardon me. With about 265,000 coins spent, let's take a look at offense. All right, here's our budget offense. We're 90 overall. Bijan and Jordan Love. We've got all 92 overall wide receivers. Janu and Heath Miller, big budget players there. Same with our offensive line and our ability stack is gift wrapped, hot route master, set feet lead, and run and gun on Jordan Love. Bijan's got a 
evasive. I switch him from freight train to evasive. You get some nasty juke moves with evasive. All right, that's our offense. We got 233,000 coins to spend on defense and potentially a kicker. My first pickup on defense is gonna be a card that was so good when it came out. Obviously, he's not the best at this position anymore, but the Grave Digger, he's honestly really fast for a D tackle. The important thing here is the ability inside stuff. This play absolutely blows up inside zones. Super important ability to have on your defensive line. And he's only 14,000 coins. I think the scariest part of this team is just gonna be the fact that you really can't get very good corners for cheap. This is gonna be a really tough spot here. One of my absolute favorites though. 92 speed, six foot three Julius Brents from the Ghosts of Mutt promo. Six foot three is just a nice bonus, but 12K for 92 speed is also pretty hard to come by. So this is a must have on a budget team. But I'll be honest with you boys, if you see a 99 speed wide receiver, you might get cooked anyway. Next up, I'm taking Night Train Lane from Most Feared. Six foot one, 92 speed, very physical corner too. And he's in that same ballpark of price. Final purchase will be one of my favorite corners, Patrick Sertan. He's so good in Madden, dude. This is a little more expensive though to grab the 92 overall, but I think it'd be worth it. Next up, I'm going linebackers. All I'm looking for here is access to Lurk Artist. I don't really even care what your overall is. You just need to get Lurk Artist. Probably the best budget linebacker in this game on a per coin basis, 91 overall Dre Greenlaw. With 92 speed, 90 excel, he's past coverage, he gets access to Lurk Artist. This card is so good. This truly might be the best budget beast on this team. If it's not Dre Greenlaw, it's Shaq Leonard who does virtually the exact same thing except a true middle linebacker with 94 block shed, 92 hit power. 92 speed, 89 excel, also has access to Lurk Artist. This will be our true user in the middle. And then you just want all your linebackers to have Lurk Artist because they'll animate like crazy even if you're not using them. If I had a 95 overall without Lurk Artist, I would take an 85 overall with it. That's how important this ability is. We'll pick up Blitz Ivan Pace. He's a little undersized. He's 5'11", but he's crazy fast. Did I mention Lurk Artist yet? Redux, Foyasada, Luakon. One of these guys is gonna go to outside linebacker, but another super well-rounded pass coverage Lurk Artist. You're probably noticing a trend. I don't pick up guys like TJ Watt or Micah Parsons. Number one, crazy expensive. But number two, I like the pressure to come from my actual down linemen. I don't really like my linebackers to be blitzing. That hasn't always been the case, but ever since Lurk Artist became a thing, I just dropped those guys into coverage. It's more worth it to me. We have 106,000 coins left. I need edge rushers. I need safeties, potentially a kicker. At my left end, I'm picking up all Madden Reggie White. This is insane. His block shedding power moves and finesse moves, and, and honestly, speed for a 15,000 coin card. 16,700. Crazy card. The ability I'll be putting on him is no outsiders. It's just like inside stuff, but for outside runs like zone, stretches, halfback stretch. I think it also counts for jet sweeps. You'll notice in most competitive games, people run no outsiders on both sides and two inside stuffs in the middle. They don't really have the coins for that, but you get the idea. I'm gonna pick up an old excellent card, which was the limited Von Miller from Halloween. I do need a D tackle too. I'm gonna go ultra budget on that. I'll just take whoever I can get for about 5,000 coins. I'm gonna take Maurice Hurst here for 4,400 coins. He's honestly very fast for a backup D tackle, 88 speed. Now I did this intentionally. The main positions we have left are free safety and strong safety. I think safeties are literally the most important position on defense after middle linebacker. Safeties are involved so often. I've got 72,000 coins left. So on average 36K a pop here, this is assuming I do not get a kicker, which I kind of do need to get somebody, right? Brian Branch is an incredible option for this price. 93 speed, 93 hit power. He's got man and zone, six foot, 190. The big thing you like to get on your safeties is the zone KOs. Same thing with your corners. If you're rocking a budget this small, it's pretty tough to get zone KOs. For now, I'll just be running Acrobat on Brian Branch. Just not a lot of options here, unfortunately. I'll also run universal coverage. At strong safety, another excellent, well-rounded guy, Jimmy Ward, 93 speed, 91 excel. He's got the zone, the hit power, and the man coverage. A little bit smaller than Brian Branch, but this saves us just enough coins to get a kicker. I have 16,000 coins left. Kickers are, are honestly super important. Silver kickers are so bad. Can't get a 90 or 91. We can get an 89. We'll take Blake Groupie. 
for 6,700 coins. He's the best kicker we have access to. Honestly, all you need on your kicker is Zen and Focus Kicker. I think the cheapest kicker who gets that is Harrison Butker, but he's like 100,000 coins. I obviously can't do it on this, but we have 10,000 coins left over, so let's fill in all of defense and see if there's any position we want to clean up with that 10,000 coins. All right, boys, here's our budget defense. We have 10,000 coins left to spare, and honestly, I'm so proud with how this team came out. Every single linebacker has Lurk Artist. It's all you need. All these guys are going to be dogs. They all have over 90 speed. Both of my safeties have 93 speed. My corners all have at least 92. My defensive line has the abilities I need with no outsiders and inside stuff. We've got Acrobat on Brian Branch. Now I just need to distribute some more abilities and we'll check back in. All right, here's our ability layout on defense. Brian Branch with Acrobat Universal Coverage. Jimmy Ward with Deep End Zone KO Universal Coverage. Reggie White's got that no outsiders. The Grave Diggers got inside stuff and Lurk Artist on Shaq Leonard, Dre Greenlaw, and Foyusada Luwakan, respectively. I am actually so excited with how this team turned out. So here's a quick overview of offense once again. Before we go try this team out, keep in mind, as I'm recording this, it is possible to have 98 overall teams. So you can't have a true 99 overall team, but you could have a 98 overall team. Even with an eight overall difference, I think our team stands a chance. I really like the squad we built here. All right, boys, the full budget team is assembled. There's your top five right there. Jordan Love, Bijan, Brian Branch, Jimmy Ward, Shaq Leonard, a hard 90 overall. Man, I, I almost forgot my roots. I've been doing all these pack and plays and all these crazy videos that I forgot how much I love just building a budget squad, man. This throws me back to Madden Mobile. I love it. Honestly, I hope we play a really high overall team because I really want to see how well we could do. That's exactly what I want to say. Oh my gosh, it's a Niners theme team. Dude, I was going to say, I hope we play a really good team because I, I kind of want to like, I want to truly see how this team could do. Hey, what's up, hon? I'm a uh, mid video right now. Do you want to say, you want to say hi to the video? Hi, video. <laughs> say poo poo balls, wiener balls. I will not be saying that. All right, boys, let's prove a point, yeah? Only two players on offense with abilities. That's weird for me, I'm not gonna lie. We'll just take the simple drag right here to McCole Hardman. Now, one thing I'm not gonna lie about, man, if you don't have that offensive line, it's really hard to run the ball. If you have really expensive offensive line players, you can set abilities on them to negate things like inside stuff and no outsiders. But take a look at his defensive line. Four abilities on the defensive line. I guarantee they're inside stuff and no outsiders. Are you ready? Inside stuff, no outsiders. Inside stuff, no outsiders, no outsiders. Yeah, I, I literally can't run the ball. I will say though, this is exactly why we spent our coins on our boy Jordan Love so that we can beat something like this. There's McCole Hardman. Nice little seam. Ooh, he was about to take a big hit. I'm so glad that that was a simple wrap-up tackle. Lighten it up right now. Let's go Bijan on the easy one. Beautiful. This is a perfect drive right now. There's B. No! Oh, Joe Cinco, that's a crazy good catch. I tried to playmaker him, but it came off a little late. That was risky. Definitely could have thrown an interception there. Six for 666 yards. I do not like that. Let's throw the ball, please, ASAP. Uh, if this is zone, Von Jefferson's wide open in this seam. Just kidding, he sees it. We gotta go. Gotta go, Bijan. Just pick up something. There's a flag. I think he just rocked Jordan Love back there. Oh, illegal contact. I don't hate a good old-fashioned bailout, gentlemen. Gonna try an RPO here. This will go to Ocho Cinco if it's there. Oh shit, I actually, I could have ran that up the field. I held X a late, I was trying to throw that. Second and 11, I am gonna try and run the ball. I wanna see how badly, mm, okay, wait a minute, Bijan. <laughs> One thing you can do if you run an RPO, this sometimes will negate the effects of those abilities like no outsider. So I'm talking all that about not being able to run the ball, but it's a great run play right there. Von Jefferson, look at that. The budget squad is on the board early against a full Niners theme team. Dude, another thing I'll tell you about using a budget team, it, it, you like, it forces you to play the game the right way. You play the game like a white wide receiver. When I have my full like, God Squad Monkey team. I play like an idiot because you can get away with a lot of shenanigans. Look at this defense, man. I got abilities all over the place. For 200K, I got abilities all over the place. Great stop there from Shaq Leonard. Another thing that I think is great is if you're truly building a no money spent team, there are so many players you have access to. So many really good no money spent season and field pass players where you'd actually save a lot of coins. I built this team from scratch every single position, whereas most players will be using, you know, 
know, the free Darren McFadden, the free Derrick Henry, the free Patrick Peterson, then you can spend more on other positions. Third and 11, we are absolutely boxing him right now. Try to run the ball twice, gone nowhere. Barely hits that over the middle. He's got a fourth down. He's gonna bring Kittle down. I think he's to block him. Oh, he's got the middle with the halfback. Nice play, nice play, nice play. Let's send a blitz this time. I can't give him all the time in the world to set these up. Oh shit. That's bad. Good stop. He's gonna go back to the pass. Doesn't have Kittle. He doesn't have the deep one. Who just got home, Von Miller? I'm going back to the six-man blitz. Okay, he's gonna throw middle. Foyus out of Lucan. Great tackle. Third and nine. Popping on Shaq Leonard. He's got the flats here from the halfback. Nobody's home! Reggie White catches the ball! Mid-air! Oh my god, we're taking a 14-0 lead. <laughs> I think that was Von Miller again with the hit, and Reggie White catches the wobbler out of the air. Going for the two-point conversion. And oh my god, Nick Bosa got so far upfield that he couldn't tackle me. 15 to zero. Don't let him take off. Oh, that's a really good ball. Can't. Oh, he went for it. No, he's not gonna pick that up. <laughs> Dude, that was the perfect time to do a pitch too, but EA nuked the lateral. I'm gonna hop on Shaq Leonard once again. Oh, he's gonna keep doing it. Oh. Hop on Night Train Lane on this one. Halfback check down. We love it. Juke, juke, juke. Oh. Oh! I expected him to juke. That's a two-minute warning. Second and seven. Goal line stand. We need it. We need it. Second and seven. Does he bring McFadden across the middle? That's the question here. He's loving that angle route right now. Slip screen. Oh, my God. Gilbert Brown, the grave digger. Third and 12. Right over the middle. Angle route. Do it. Oh, it's an escape route. Oh, that was so good. He just made a huge play. Nice work. Nice work. Seven to 15. There's a lot of time left in this game. What we really need to do is maintain this lead. Not do anything stupid. I'm running out of daylight here, boys. It's gonna get a little spooky. Hey, Jay Love still got wheels, baby. 92 speed. Take it. Oh, oh, nice play. We really do have a game here, boys. I hope I don't choke. 15 of lead. He wants to go George Kittle. Stays in bounds though, I like that. I just can't let him score a touchdown. Ooh, Jawan Jennings in the backfield. He's in slot wide receiver. He's got the corner route. He checks low to Jawan Jennings. He gets nothing. He's got to call a timeout. Perfect. I'm gonna send a blitz here on second and eight. I'm on him. Oh, good play. What's he gonna do here? Just take the field goal? Calls a timeout, five seconds left. Oh my God, you're not going for this, are you? Wow, I like it. He has no timeouts left. Throws the ball away. Oh my God. That could have hit dead zero. We'll head into halftime with a five point lead. Doing a minor choke job here, but I think we'll be all right. Pistol deuce close. This has got to be a run, right? Sure is. We are all over it though. Single back deuce close. Usually when you see this, it's one of two plays. It's either bench or deuce close stretch. This is bench. No, it's neither. It's tight end angle. I haven't seen that play in a long time, but that's a hell of a stop. What a tackle. See if we can shoot this gap and just blow this up. Okay, it's a pass. Somebody get there, fourth and inches. Something tells me it's just McFadden to the right side. I'm gonna get on Brian Branch for it. What is he, he has nothing. As of right now, he has nothing, Brian Branch. Fourth and inches. What a stop. What a stop. Oh my God. Let's go. All right, I am gonna run the ball. It's probably gonna get blown up. You know, I'm talking shit. I'm really talking shit about the run game and we are averaging six yards per carry. He's floating over there. I mean, he knows what I'm doing. See how Nick Bosa and Fred Warner both just blew those up. That's no outsiders right there. And that's usually how it looks. Third and eight. If I see something wide open, we take it. I think Von Jefferson might be wide open. Sure is. Zone, catch it, no knockouts. Nice fucking catch. Hey, that's huge. Dude, honestly, you usually drop that with knockouts. That's huge. Let's go for it. Oh my God, what is he doing? He hopped on his DB and messed that up. Let's go. Bijan walks it in to give us the two possession lead. 12 point lead, 22 to 10, two minutes, 11. Still a lot of football though. First and 10, he's got to start chunking yards. Can't be checking down. It's a nice play. Second and six. He's in no huddle at this point. This is going to be a pass play. I'm actually going to blitz Julius Brents here. Super weird. Oh my God, it's not. Look at the grave digger. That's what's crazy about a D tackle. It, it almost doesn't matter your stats. It just matters that you have inside stuff. I'm pretty sure you could put an eight-year-old in there, but if they had inside stuff, they'd fucking blow up Jason Kelsey. It's kind of messed up. Dude, he's giving me opportunities to lurk him too, and I'm fumbling him. But another huge hit puts him at another fourth down. Fourth and one, huge play. No. 
Doesn't have it. Doesn't have it at all. Patrick Sertan. Fourth and short is his biggest enemy right now. And he's gone. Sorry, guys. I'm criminally out of lighting. Uh, so it's a perfect time to end this video. But the budget squad takes down a full San Francisco 49ers theme team. Gigantic W's. Awesome budget team. Had a blast. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.